Happy Sunday, guys. It's here. It's actually here. It's finally here. Finally. It's here. Man, you're not wrong. I think it's here. It's eternal. A take. Didn't even practice that. Bye. Vert. Uzi. Yes. Pluto. Yes, let's do it. I'm bored of this now. We've already done this. We've already done it. So Lost let's just give our scores. And then just nah, leave nah, it nah. at that. We'll do a little bit more. You can just do, like, just play it and they can just lip read. What do you mean? Just use the, the other version of it. Just chop that up. And just put that. So. They can just lip read it. <laughs> or we'll just um, talk over the top. We can dub it. No, that's dumb. That would be funny. <laughs> That'd be so fucking hard. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, it's split up into three parts. There is baby Pluto, who is just a player, has sex in Honda Accords, and buys a lot of designer and gear. And he has Balenci. He does have a lot of Balenci. Then there is Ranjit. Renji? Renji. Ranjit. <laughs> Kiss me, Katoti. <laughs> there is Renji, who is a little bit sweeter. He apologises and he likes his pussies soft. He likes the little supple vagines. And then the third and final portion is Lua Uzi Vert as himself, which is the shittest part of the album. It's all just trap drums and the same sort of auto-tune materialism, lyricism, materialistic lyricism, you know what I mean. Um, I think Renji was I don't know which was the better part of the album. What are you laughing at? Oh, I was just doing nothing. You just kept looking at me. You were just like... <laughs> uh, Renji does a house, my favourite track. Yeah, I prefer the middle portion. Yeah. Not by much. Yeah, it's just... Not, it's just it's not that great. Uh, Bigger Than Life, I think, is the best track. Like, no diss to Uzi, because he did well on this. But imagine Gunner on this beat. Probably Sam. Did he say my diamonds like Chris Brown? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know, let's go back. Oh, oh they, they dance, dance like, like Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. He also had something in there that, like his diamonds are like something because they're yellow. Like I don't know teeth. what he said. Nah, I don't know. Like corn. Oh, I think he said porn. <laughs> <laughs> um. And yeah, the first song housed, I think, some of the better production. Um, like, it's all very sort of futuristic space-like stuff. Yeah, I think that the production on here was sort of on par for a lot of trap music. But at least he had something going for him. It was a little bit futuristic. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I liked the first portion. The first two songs. I think this album started out really fast, uh, really well, with Baby Pluto and Low Main. I think that yeah. um, they went quite well but he sort of did ruin it uh, with a lot of repetition in the following songs but he does that throughout the album yeah um, but yeah I'm not a fan of that type of music anymore I never really was of sort of like the getting money and getting bitches phase I think yeah. it's way too played out and I think that Little Lucy Vert knows that and I think he's just sort of milking it as hard as he can he's just ringing it out like, <clears throat> ringing it <laughs> ring ringing it <laughs> just ringing it and then um, yeah I just don't think that uh, he's diverse enough to sort of pull an album off of this sort of stature I think that sort of concept albums and albums with different parts and different characters and different sort of roles is quite a um, complex concept yeah. and it, it's very hard to pull off and I just don't think little Uzi Vert's sort of three personas that he's put on here are to, um, varying enough to be yeah. sort of making this good. Yeah. Yeah, because, well, like you said, it's very played out. Like, you can go anywhere for this exact type of sound yeah. and content. So for it to be good, it's got to be, like, really good. Yeah. And, and it's just not. And the last part, so the little Uzi part and the baby Pluto part are just basically the same. Yeah, I agree. Um, I just don't They're like... just different style of production. Yeah, That's like... That's it. Um, Uzi's the same. The skits? What are we saying about the skits? Um, fucking pointless. Yeah, pointless, dumb. Like, it, 
it relates to space, which like sort of ties into the first bit of the album with the production. Yep. That's it. Yep. Uh, we don't end up anywhere. He ends up in space, somehow gets back. That's never explained. He's on the phone to his friend and he goes, bro, I just saw this. I've got to drop the album. Yeah. It's... Like it does there's no point to it being there. It doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, it it does um, just leave a lot to be desired. I think yeah. we waited a long time for this. It was obviously hyped up a lot last year. And was it the year before? Yeah, it's been like two and a half years. Or oh, so yeah, because it's making. 2020 now. Yeah, yeah, so it was like 2018. Yeah, like late 2018. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the uh, he just didn't really... Um, it would have been impossible for him to live up to the yeah, hype. Yeah, the hype was too much. I think, touching back on the skits, yeah... Skits go over well um, for certain people, for certain types, like if it's a funny skit, um, yeah. or if it ties in well with the album. But this genre of music. Yeah. I think skits never work. Skits in Trap is just dumb. Like, yeah. Because Trap doesn't like, convey any meaning. Trap yeah. is just Trap. Yeah. That reminds me of that meme, you know, like, math is math, you know, with like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mr. Incredible. But yeah, it's like, you can't, like... You can't be clever or witty or anything on sort of trap yeah. skits. Like, what's the point of having them? Traps about the music, about the melodies. How's a skit got anything to do with it? It's it's like cooking broccoli on a really expensive pan. Yeah. As, a, as opposed to, like, just a normal pan. Yeah. Like, you're doing this extra work for no reason. It's only for health. There's no... You're not going to benefit any taste the end of the day it's just broccoli yeah like there's no reason to use an expensive pan there you go look at that <laughs> you got the cook it you got the culinary um, <laughs> metaphors in but yeah um, in terms of what were we talking about just before the skits no after that and then I said and I was like I'll come back to the skits oh, I don't even know <laughs> um, yeah well what else do you have to say then maybe that'll jog my memory um Oh, that we waited like two or three years for it. Oh yeah, the hype was just ridiculous. Like, yeah. Um, even if this didn't have hype, I still think it wouldn't be good. I yeah. think hype definitely dampens it because it's like, oh, it's not very good. Um, yeah. Well, I want to talk about part two as well. Oh yes, we will talk about part two. But uh, yeah, the hype really killed this album because it was yeah. so long, and I think that a lot of people are overhyping it now just because they want to like it yeah. which I think happens a lot and it's finally here yeah, yeah it definitely does especially if it's your favourite artist yeah he's got lines about Yu-Gi-Oh and yeah. stuff like that but yeah, he's so different and unique yeah it's not but like yeah, the other so, rappers so talking about killing things uh, he's oh yeah pretty much killed the original Exo to a life with his silly little remix part 2 I don't understand why it's a thing yeah um, it's a the same producer, a very similar beat, and the exact same flows. Like, I understand doing a part two of a song, or a remix of a song. That's fine, and I've got no problem with yeah. it. But making a different song, using the same melodies, is yeah. just it's dumb. Just, it's just silly. Like, gotta, it's got to be extra good at that point. Like, and, this is worse than a remix. Yeah. Like, a remix would have been better than this. Yeah, I agree. Like, yeah, just one extra verse. Yeah, like, change your verse. Yeah. Like, keep the same chorus. Yeah. Chorus or the hook, whatever you want to call it, was just a mess. He just... It was like someone was like a shit version of Exo Tour Life. Like, that's like the epitome it's, of him and epitome of sort of trap in the last few years. It's honestly like someone wanted to make Exo Tour Life, but they were trying to avoid copyright. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly that's- what it is. <laughs> it's just... Like, he owns that song. Yeah. Like, he doesn't have to do that. Like, um, yeah. Like, it's just not... Good. Like people are talking it up as like one of the better songs on the album. I think it's one of the worst songs on the album. Yeah, I agree. I just think that he tried too hard. He, he flew too close to the sun. He, yeah. He tried to cre- recreate like a moment, and it just didn't work. Yeah. EXO Tour Life is like the defining moment of his like career. Career, of and he just emo sort of, trap. Yeah. Of yeah. It so sort of started a wave. Like no it one really knew did. Lil Uzi before that. Yeah. Unless you were like a dedicated hardcore fan, but. Yeah, I think he really messed up on that one. Yeah. Um, and I think it just sort of mimics the whole album. I just think the whole album was just sort of like uh, an attempt at a flash in the pan. No yeah. melodies are good. No um, tracks are memorable. I don't have anything stuck in my head. I don't have any sort of 
defining yeah. moments that I can look back on. And I talked about this with my um, Lil Baby review. Lil Baby and Lil Uzi Vert are just known for having catchy songs, having catchy melodies, getting yeah. in your head. But neither of those, between those two albums, I can't name a song. I can name P2, Futsal Shuffle. Oh, shit. Well, the, yeah, like you're saying, like, not remembering the first two anything. Songs, yeah. Um, the only melody that I actually remember from Eternal Take is from That Way, and that's not even his yeah. melody. I want it that way. That is a banger. Yeah. But like, yeah, that's not even his, and that's the only one I remember. Yeah. Um, other than a couple of lines that I want to look at, I think that's us done. Pretty much it, yep. So, yeah, I'll go through some of the more iconic lines. Um, I didn't like the flow in the first track as well. Like, uh, man, we spray his car, spray his window. Icky, icky. Yeah, she keeps some... sucking on my dick, trying to get a hickey, hickey. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that line. Yeah. yeah. It, he has a weird, like, sort of obsession with just funny, like, weird... Yeah, going, like, high-pitched. Unusual, yeah, yeah tones. Yeah, yeah, he does go high-pitched. What was like the other the, one? I'm like mother... No, sorry. Yeah, I'm that's like, it. Mother Goose? Yeah. It's weird, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Maybe they it's just, Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I had one, um, and I did all of that, don't want to see her again, and honestly, onto better things, that's her friend. That's pretty funny. He had a few lines like that. He had a few uh, one-liners, I will yeah. say that. Yeah. But none um, that I remember. No. But like, when I hear I, it... I can only know because... I've written yeah, yeah, when I yeah. hear it, I'm like, oh, that's a good line. Yeah. Or something like that, but yeah. Uh, this one is really fucking dumb. This is in pop. Uh, but on the reel, she in denial. Diamond water. Yeah, look like a river. Look like I'm standing in the Nile. If you didn't get the last line, then you're level on the brain of a child. You're just admitting that like people listening to your songs... Are dumb. Yeah. But, and he said it the wrong way around, too. Then you're level on the brain of a child. Isn't yeah. your brain on the level of a child? Yeah. Maybe it just didn't flow right. The way he uh, said it. Yeah. Um, yeah, ever since Clifford, Uzi being the big dog. Oh, that's a hard line. That's pretty funny. Big um, dog. Yeah, that's about it, really. I don't really care to say too much. I'm going to be a little bit generous uh, because the production did take it away a lot for me and give it a 4 out of 10. Three. Three for me. West side out of ten. Yeah. I just didn't really enjoy it all that much. No. I'm not going to come back to that probably ever. I'm not going to come back to a single song. Yeah. Nothing yeah. Uh, nothing of note in that one. But, yeah. Uh, so it's a combined seven. Out of twenty. Out of twenty. And Anthony Fantano gave him a... A four, I believe. So he got eleven out of thirty. <laughs> That's quite poor. There you go. That's basically, well, like a three point... Two out of ten. No, like three point. It's under three point two. No. It was oh no, it's three point. It'd be like three point three seven or something. No, eleven out of thirty. Yeah, I'll do the math right now. It's like, isn't that three point three three three? I just did. You just told me error. <laughs> <laughs> no, three point six. Oh, okay, okay, so. Yes. 3.36 out of 10 yeah is the average score there quite poor yeah oh yeah you, yeah yeah that is what did she I just thought. say she said that's what I thought <laughs> what did she think you said I, she just said yeah <laughs> weird yeah. anyway tune in tomorrow we've got some sneakers yep um bad job Uzi that's all I'm gonna say I was Hopefully the deluxe version is better. I'm going to listen to that yes, in the so car on the way yeah. home, actually. I need and, to listen to it, too. Yeah, I'll let you know how it sounds. But I'm not expecting much. It is like much more packed full of features. So yes. Hopefully it's just like high-energy stuff, and it's not relying too heavily on the one man. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. That's a wrap.